going carnivore in Thailand. It's day number 32. And, well, how am I doing? I'm making this recording about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Woke up this morning and my arm, did, my shoulder didn't feel all that great. Got out, got some exercise in the pool. And it didn't feel that great. Took a shower and decided, well, it's time to listen to some of the people who were kind enough to make comments and go to the hospital and have it checked. So, jumped in the car, jumped on Route 7, zoomed around the top side of Pattaya and got off at Pattaya Klang. Turn right, go down about a kilometer on the left hand side is Bangkok Hospital. Got a parking spot right in front of the emergency doors, walked in. Somebody was there taking my information within a minute. What I was surprised to hear, even though Bangkok Hospital is a very large hospital group, throughout Thailand, and I had been to the Bangkok Hospital in Bangkok. None of the information available from my Bangkok visits is available in Pattaya's Bangkok Hospital. Same brand, same name on the outside, same logos, but my information is not available. So, got inside, they took my information, they walked me back to the orthopedic area. A girl took my blood pressure, and let me check my phone here to verify, because I made a note. 124 over 81. Wow, that's much better than even just two weeks ago. It's just, that was really good. So she took my blood pressure and sat down in a chair. She said, the doctor will see you in 20 minutes. A few minutes later. Well, like most things in medical, that's a lie. They were really busy uh, in the orthopedic session. They were really busy. A few minutes later. But one thing's for sure about Thailand, they're never understaffed. I counted at least 12, maybe 13 or 14 people buzzing around handling people in the orthopedic session. A few minutes later. And those were both nurses, nurses' aides, orderlies. And that didn't even include doctors. Now, I went, of course, like always, I got there 10 after 12, right during lunchtime, and they still had that many people. A few minutes later. So, what's the, what's the verdict? The verdict from the doctor is, he doesn't see any new fracture, but my rotator cuff is malformed. It's not normal. It has a big bulge in it. And he says, it doesn't look like this was new. He said, did you ever hurt it before? And I said, no. So, the official diagnosis was calcific tendinitis of the shoulder. He gave me about five days worth of medicine that will hopefully reduce localized inflammation from where it was injured, suggested that I try to keep it as immobile as possible while it's trying to heal and not try to 
extend its use every day and make it go further and further. But let's talk about how much this all cost me. Well, here's the bill. I'll put it up. They break it real right down. For the medicine he gave me was three hundred and thirty six baht. That's nine dollars and thirty seven cents for the pills. Now they sent me to radiology and had two x rays taken. That was twelve hundred baht. $33.46 for two x-rays. Now remember, I walked in the emergency door. Nursing charge, 110 baht, which is $3.06. Package medical charge and other medical service charges, 220 baht, which is 612 and physician evaluation and management services. I saw an orthopedic specialist twice. Once before the x-rays. A few minutes later. Once afterwards where he showed me a normal shoulder and what my x-rays look like. Like a dummy, I did not take pictures because there's signs everywhere that says don't take pictures while in treatment. So... I was respectful of what they wanted. And I didn't take very many, didn't take any pictures while I was with a nurse or a doctor. I took a couple while I was sitting on a chair or down the hallway or what have you. That's it. I'll put some of them up. Total, hour and 45 minutes in the hospital, coming through the emergency room door. <laughs> $77.14 U.S. dollars. 2,766 Thai bot. Wow. He, he said, come back and made me an appointment and come back next week and have it looked at. So those who thought I should get checked, thank you very much, and I did. This morning, I only had my coffee with heavy cream and about two cups. And uh, when I got back, I needed a little energy. So, believe it or not, Noi made liver burger. She took some beef liver, cooked it up in a skillet, put a slice of cheese on it, which I heavily salted and peppered. And then put Frank's Red Hot Sauce on top and ate it like a ha like a cheeseburger without a bun. Tonight, we're going to have salmon. So we get a little bit of the uh, Omega-3s. Wild-caught Atlantic salmon. And if I'm still hungry, then I'll either have some more liver if anything is left. Or I'll end up eating good old stable hamburger. I won't cook a steak tonight. Had one of those last night. So, that's day 32. Nice little hospital trip. And uh, that's going carnivore in Thailand, sitting at the macro and letting the chair collapse on your fat ass. It's not their fault that I was so heavy. And, uh, you know something? Getting up and down of those waiting chairs was a little easier, less 36 pounds or so. So we just keep on trucking and we keep on going on. That's all, folks.